the Prophet, peace be upon him, never addressed other religions in an aggressive nature as you do. Do you think your approach to spread and understand Islam is better or the Prophet's amicable and courteous nature to others, other faiths? Right. Now, our sister, she has a right. She has a right to have her opinion, to say that I am is in an aggressive nature as you do. I don't know when you speak the truth. It does sound militant, it might sound offensive, and we are told in the Holy Quran that our Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the best example. Allah says, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا So most certainly in the Apostle of Allah, you have the best example. You accept? Can you differ with that? Allah is testifying that in the Prophet of Allah, you have the best example. But do you know that the mushriks of Makkah took offense against his preaching? Do you know that? Do you know his own people, they loved him. Before he made his pronouncement over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, they, they gave him a title, as sadiqul wadul ameen. As mushriks, they gave this title to the Nabi. That he is a sadiqul wad, a person who, who is true to his word, is uh, al ameen, he is the truthful, the sincere, the faithful. This is what they called him. As soon as he opened his mouth about Allah's wahdaniyat, they wanted to kill him. It sounded offensive. They sounded aggressive. He sounded militant. Look, the best of mankind, the best example is creating offense. Maybe he didn't know how to talk. Maybe you know how to talk. Our alims know how to talk with hikmah. He didn't know hikmah. If you were there, would you have told him, Ya Rasulullah, you know Allah says in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 125, Udu ila sabili rabbika bi hikmati, invite all to the ways of the Lord with wisdom, meaning that he doesn't know wisdom. I want to know whether you would have told him that. That you sound aggressive. Look, these people are getting irritated. They want to kill you. He had to flee for your life. All the Sahabas, Sahabas that make two uh, migrations to Abyssinia. Why? Because they didn't know how to talk. Then he goes to Medina, and in Medina he starts with the Jews. You know, they still, Badr is still waiting, and Ohad is still waiting, and Khandak is still waiting. Huh? They won't let him go. And now he starts with the Jews. If you were the Sahaba, his companion, would you have told him, Ya Rasulullah, look man, you have saved our son of his, by the skin of our teeth, you have left been saved, you have come around alive here, and now you're starting with the Jews, you know, use some wisdom, man. You know, why are you provoking people, and the Jews, and the Munafiks, four different groups of people, all wanting to kill this man of God? You know why? Because he didn't know how to talk. Huh? Is that what it is? Maybe he sounded aggressive. And, and the message of Islam is militant. Do you know that? Allah says, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O oh, people of the book, La taghlu fi dinikum. That's how Allah talks. No, Allah doesn't talk like that. So, skull, say, La ahl al-kitab, La taghlu fi dinikum. Don't go to extremes in your religion. Wala taghlu wa lallah illa al-haq. And don't say anything about Allah. It's the truth. Ibn al-Masih, Musa is the Messiah, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah is the messenger of Allah. وَقَلِمَتُهُ And a word proceeding from him, أَلْفَهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمَ وَرُهُمْ مِنْهُمْ Which he bestowed upon Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him, فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرُسُلِهِ So believe in Allah and his messenger. This is how Allah talks. So, وَلَا تَكِنُوا سَلَاسَ وَلَا تَكِنُوا سَلَاسَ إِنْ تَلَ خَيْرَ لَكُمْ That's not my Allah, that's not my Rasul. I don't know what ideas you have about Rasulullah, how he did he do the job. You have what? Look, he said, وَلَا تَكُنُوا سَلَاسَ When you tell somebody, hey, don't say Trinity. How do you say, say Trinity? You know? Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> well, maybe, maybe. You see, your husband's happy and your father's got that, that chicken voice. I don't know. Look. <laughs> Allah has made me a lion. <laughs> so I'm not acting. I'm not acting. I'm telling you, I'm not acting. This is what Allah has given to me. 
as the chairman said, I'm 77 years old, 78. Mm. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. No, no, no. The grandfather, 77 years old, he can never do that. Do you know that? Huh? He can never talk like this. Do you know that? So what are you blaming me? If I sound militant, I am militant. This is Islam expects each and every Muslim to be militant. So Allah Don't say Trinity. In khair lakum. This is stop it. It will be better for you. Inna Allahu ilam wahid. For you Allah is one Allah. He's not three one. Allah says lakat kafar Allah zina qalu inna Allah masih ibn Maryam. Whoever says that Jesus Christ, the Son of Mary, is God, is making kufar. He says he's making kufar. I say he's making kufar. It's an act of blasphemy, treason against Allah. وقال المسيح but المسيح said يا بني إسرائيل أو تلون رزائل لا بد الله وشف الله ربي وربكم who is my Lord and your Lord إنه من يشرك بالله whoever will associate anyone with Allah فقد حرم الله للجنة حرم الله للجنة الله will forbid him paradise وما له النار and the fire of hell will be the dwelling place وما لفضلي من من أنصار and for the wrong those will be no one to hell this is how Allah talks if you listen to him, this is how he talks. And if I try to reproduce his militancy, you say, I sound aggressive. I don't know my sister. You have a billion Muslims in the world who can bleat, bleat like goats. That's their choice. You can bleat in Turkey. I just can't do that. I don't mind myself. I'm Ahmad Didat. If you like me, okay. If you don't like me, pray for me.